I heard you got the gun coffee. Wow. It tastes like, sort of like burnt plastic. Me and Starbucks having a snack crate, lad. Let's soge. This, this doesn't taste like anything, really. And that's, well, what can I say? Hi right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of Your It's What an episode, lad. We're looking for Sydney's best coffee. What I've done is, I've gone on all the Google lists. They're all different. They all say this is one, this is two. But I got the most three consistent. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare them to good old Starbucks, right? Starting off at Starbucks gives us that good point to start off with to compare everything to. I like doing that, as you've noticed. So we're here in Manly today. The reason why we're in Manly is because they got a Starbucks. And the first place we're comparing it to is Seven Mile Coffee, which is also in Manly. After that, we're going to Surrey Hills in the city and we're going to Single O and then after that we're going to Marrickville to Ona, O-N-A. I don't know how to pronounce that but that was consistently on the most list the number one. So we're leaving that for last. Me personally, I drink Long Black. She's not I drink Long Blacks, Volcano Dirt, you know what I call it. I think but the best comparative is a cappuccino, one sugar. Cappuccino, small cap, one sugar, less oge. It's oge, bala. So it's lad. Knife. It looks pumping. It's busy as. We were talking yesterday, should I have made the comparative point 7-Eleven coffee? <laughs> and we go, nah, nah, that's going too far down. You know what I mean? We'll start here and let's see and we'll like, we'll move on with the ramisu. This is the first time we've introduced drinks into It's All Eats, brother. We might go on a full drink rampage. Milkshakes, bubble teas, this and that. On a side note, I've got to eat too. I've done six rounds of sparring this morning. I still haven't eaten a single thing and I've got to get a water actually. Hello, mate. Hi, how are you? Good. Can I get a small cappuccino, one sugar, please? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, mate. Before I review the first coffee, quick shout out from my sponsor, Les Oge. All right, lads, listen, before we get started, today's episode is brought to you by Manscaped. The Lawnmower 4.0, I'm telling you, I promise you, this is the this is the body clipper I use. It's waterproof. Look, it's got a light on it, right? It's wireless charging. It, I just keep it in the shower. It's a mad body clipper. I shave my chest, I shave my head. Why not? Why not? It shaves everything, right? It's really reliable. One wireless charge. It comes on a mad stand, right? Plugs in a USB charger. One wireless charge. I sit it up on the shower. I promise you, two weeks. It's just a mad reliable body clipper. You can get it for your partner. If you're a woman out there, get it for your partner. He'll love it. I promise you he'll love it. Anyway, I got a code for you. Code Spanian, 20% off. When you go on their website, order the Lawnmower 4.0, get the whole package. Code Spanian, 20% off. I promise you you'll love it. Oge. I'm stinging for a coffee, Baba. So it's all going to taste nice. Come over here in the sun. No, no, we're going to shave. We're going to shave. No, we're going to the sun. We're going to the sun. I'm taking the lid off. You got to see it, brother. You got to have visuals. Little bit of chocolate, little bit of chocolate on top, not too much. I'm gonna do it with my finger, right? So we can see. I reckon, what do you reckon the perfect coffee, the perfect cappuccino should be? By the way, this was 470. This is their smallest one. I'm always gonna make points of the price. It's relevant, but it's what's more relevant than the price. You're like the finger always, what do you mean? Do you ever go to a coffee shop? The coffee, it tastes like, sort of like burnt plastic, rubber. You know what it reminds me of? This is gonna sound funny. When you're in a hottie and you're just, you're doing brake jobs and the burning rubber everywhere and you get that, that taste, that smell. I swear to God, I can sometimes when I drink a coffee, I get little hints of that and often too. And sometimes at good places too. This one, there's a little hint of it. It's like, I don't know what it is, man. Like burnt plastic, you burnt something, all right? Like the bean is burnt. But not bad, I've had it much worse. It's a little bit, I reckon it's a little bit watery. It could have been a bit more milk in it. It's an average coffee. It's not that bad. Anyway, this is the comparative point. Well, me personally, I would have liked a little bit more chocolate, less oge. All right, let's go. So where are we going now? We're gonna compare it to second place, seven mile up the road, let's cut. Here we are, Seven Mile Coffee. Apparently at one point in time, this had the most expensive coffee and blah, 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 and all this stuff. And I read it up, bro. You want to see? Read it up yourself, bro. Now what do you think I am, brother? Hey, 
And David Attenborough giving you yarns. Let's see it, brother. We're drinking coffee. Let's hose, brother. Let's hose your f***ing knee, mate. I don't know, bro. I don't know what people see in Starbucks. I think it's like one of those pop culture things like Starbucks, bro. You know what I mean? Hey, <laughs> pop culture. You know what I do, part of this show? I just rock up with lads with cameras, you know, the multiple other people. You know what we should start doing? Pretend that we're like, you know, illegal immigrant workers and that. We should run in and that. All right, everyone get their passports. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're like, what do you mean? And I say, nah, nah, we're doing it so eat. How are you? Yeah, mate, good. Hey, uh, can I get a small cap, one sugar? Small cap, one sugar. Yeah, brother. I heard you are good at gun coffees. I traveled here for it. Oh, mate, I'd like to say so. What's so special about it? What is What's it, the mate? bean? Explain it. So we use Culture Brown Wilds. Yep. They're our house blends. They're our most premium coffees that we actually roast just out the back. Yep, beautiful. We use Cultivar for our full cream milks. Yep. And we use Wild for our Long Blacks or our Espressos. Oh, nice. So we also use Wild for our fermented milk, soy, oat, almond. So what am I getting? Cultivar. You love Cultivar. Let's go. What about this? Here, they're full home roasting the beans in the back. They've got yarns to go with them and it's still cheaper than Starbucks. Starbucks was $4.70. This was $4. God forbid this tastes better. What are Owen days? $4.70 for Starbucks. Me and Starbucks having a snack crate, lad. Let's oge. I'm Jade. I want a mad coffee. Please live up to your name. People writing about you on the internet. You better be good. Hey, someone in there has got a YouTube plaque. What do you actually reckon the most common coffee is? Cappuccino, right? Because I'm hearing other people's orders, but then again, I'm in Manly. It's all lattes and... and then I heard flat white and I thought, nah, nah, flat white, that's pretty common. It has to be cap, right? It has to be cappuccino. We're doing the right thing. Because when I done the Supreme Pizza for Sydney's Best Pizza, you said, going, what are you going to do, Supreme Pizza? Eh, you got to do a cheesy pizza. You got to do a pepperoni every pizza, but the f***ing pizza that I done, eh? And if I done them, you would have said, you got to do Supreme, bro. I'm onto you, bros. Talk shit. What an obstructive tree. Thank you. Thanks, mate. Enjoy. Sweet. What a random tree. All right, I'm excited now. You're not touching me with my coffee. Take the lid off. You can't drink through the lid like a bum. Wow, lots of chocolate. Wow, wow. Oh my God. What a coffee. What a coffee, brother. Perfect temperature, creamy as it can get, not watery at all, no burnt flavor at all, right? Let's step away from 7-Eleven and Starbucks and step into the realm of coffee connoisseurs. Perfectly sweet, brother. It's like, the bean tastes like, um, right, it's like almost grape. It's weird, it's gonna sound weird, bruh. The way I explain it, it's gonna sound weird. The bean, all right, tastes like, and I don't mean grape, bodgy grape flavor like lollies. I mean like, like fresh fruit. Like, you know what the, a purple grape tastes like? It's like the bean has a hint of that. It still has the bitterness of the coffee with a hint like purple grape. They're probably gonna hear this. They're gonna watch it and go, what are you talking about purple grapes? This is the cavatar of the cavatar. But anyway, so I mean, it tastes like a purple grape, mate, but you're doing something right, because it's cracker. That's a cracker coffee. $4. $4.70 from Starbucks was the same size. Tasted like a dead person made it. Well, um, the chocolate. Let's oge. I want the chocolate. I can't get it. That's a crack of coffee. I can't drink the whole thing. Otherwise, what? In the next hour, I'm going to have four coffees. I have one more sip bar because it's hectic. That's cracker. Boys, that is winning by so far. You don't even understand. You know how you say, oh, you should have went here and you should have went there with the pizza show? Are you stupid? I put a vote on Instagram and I followed the votes. If you're so interested in where I should go, next time I do an Instagram vote, you should vote then. Don't come on my YouTube and just say you should have went here. I'm following your instructions. Anyway, this is winning, I think. Let's get back to the coffees. So now, boom, clear winner so far. We're off to Surrey Hills, back into the city, back into the hood, and we're going to the last O. Am I getting this right? Single O, single O. I do that many place. How am I supposed to remember? In Surrey Hills now. Took 40 minutes to park. Normal Surrey Hills behavior. We're at single O. Let's O. Just down this street. That last coffee. Wow. Yeah. You know what I'm gonna be doing soon? Because I train neck every day, right? Even today after sparring around, I was training neck. You know, you do your neck exercise, you gotta have a strong neck. Once my neck's big and muscly, I'm just gonna flex it everywhere. I'm just gonna walk, walk the streets like that. Rest of my body skinny, professional kickboxer, but fat neck, like the soge baba. Just get around looking like a frog lad. Just like this, pa. Flex the neck, hey. <laughs> Best workout in the world. Pa, lad, let's soge. This is it, the last O. Single O. <laughs> Every time I say it, it's different. <laughs> I'm gonna call him the last supper soon. Uh, small cap, one sugar, please. Oh, yeah. yeah, good. How are you? 
good. But it's pumping here. It's in a funky little lane in Surrey's, Baba. Nice. I like the, the vibe, the location. This is nice. It smells like they got mad food to be out. Out of everywhere that we went, I'll say this. This is the first one that smells like it's got cracker food coming out of it. Obviously, Starbucks not gonna have cracker food coming out. Oh, that's mine? All right, thank you. Hey, how are you, how are you? Doing, mate? Thank you. I'm doing these ones. I've done that many episodes of It's All A. It's every time we're talking, we weigh up different lists of different best places. There's so many names floating around. Like, come on, I'm gonna remember everything. <laughs> what about that pizza episode? What was I calling them? <laughs> every, everything I got wrong. Woodford, uh, Bella Crucia. We've got to go back to those places, true? This coffee, I'll tell you what, straight off the bat is hot as. It's a cappuccino, which I don't mind. I don't mind. The other ones were like a bit more than warm. Look at that. They were a bit more than warm. This one's actually hot. I like hot cappuccinos, you know? Hey, people yelling noodles. It smells a lot more than it is. It's got this mad aroma that is like an exotic in some way. I wouldn't say fruity, but it has an aroma that is not your usual coffee. But to taste, it tastes so normal. You know how the last one had this aftertone, like a, a like a fruity aftertone, grapey, whatever I called it? It's not full creamy. The last one we got was really creamy, right? The first one was watery. This is in between. I don't mind that. Good on them for that. But the it is so, it is so, I'm using the word bland and I don't want to. It is so, it's not big. Bitter. It doesn't have the bitter coffee taste. It doesn't have a fruity. It doesn't have a woody. It doesn't have any type of undertone. It doesn't have any type of aftertaste. It doesn't have a strong coffee flavor. It doesn't have, it just doesn't taste like anything really. It tastes completely normal. I don't know. It's not. There's nothing wrong with it. No burnt flavors, it's not watery. It's sweet, good amount of chocolate, but it tastes like the most normal coffee that you can have. Sorry to say it, that's what it that tastes like, bro. Sorry, bro, it's so normal. Maybe I just went on a day where the bean is called completely normal roast. <laughs> and that's, well, what can I say? Tastes like a normal coffee. Good, bad, if, it was, if I live near it, I'd buy it. Having said that, it's better than Starbucks. It, it's a hundred times better than Starbucks. Starbucks is still like, come on, brother. Starbucks tasted like burnt, like I had a fight with a and box of matches. ONA, owner, however you pronounce it in Maryville. We left this last, I'll tell you why. This was top of the top repeatedly. No matter what list I went on, they just kept, Ona was always number one. And they'd even write, talk it up, like, you know what I mean? Unless they got some great publicist team that are writing all these things. But everyone seems to think that Ona in Marigville is the full pump of the full pump. The funny thing is Marigville's my area. Like I'm around there every day, never heard of it. Don't even know where it is. We'll suss it out, let's go. Tonight. Oh. All right, here we're in Marigville, Marigville Road, O N A, Honor. I guess that's the only way to pronounce it, eh? Honor, Honor Coffee, highest rated coffee on every list in the world. Let's suss it out, bro. Let's see what it's about. That last place, the last O, the final O, whatever it's the single O. <laughs> I swear on my mum. I swear on my mother's life, I'm not pretending. It's getting, it's getting to the point where you're thinking, all right, you're faking it now. Like, you, you remember, I swear on my mother's life, I don't remember the name of the single O. Bruh, look at this bloke over across the road, lad. Bruh, he, he, Jake, film that, bruh. There's a full 323. This bloke's got a full mint condition Mazda 323. That's like an 86 model, 85 model. That's cracker, lad. Well. You know how mad the 323 Familiar? 323 Familiar. So like, oh, some people call it 323 uh, GTs. They're hectic, lad. Mad old school car was like the TX3 Turbos. Four wheel drive TX3 Turbos. Here it is. Hello, how are ya? Hello. You're getting filmed, brother. You got the best coffee in Sydney. Oh, cool. That's the allegation. Thank you, lad. So I'm here to test it out. Small cap, one Small sugar. sugar. So yeah. We have a couple of different options that you can choose from. Yep. Looking for a milk based coffee or black coffee? Milk based, the cappuccino. Awesome. Yep. So with all of our milk based coffees, we serve it in one style. Yep. Because it's like a flat white latte style. Yep. Which is being good and put in chocolate powder. Okay, that's so fine. Like, yep. We have a couple of different choices for your coffees. Yep. Starting from Aspen, Aspen. Maple, Unwind, and Raspberry Candy. Aspen, dark chocolate and smooth, maple milk chocolate and nutty, unwind chocolate and caramel, raspberry candy, fruity and adventurous. Yeah, so the raspberry candy is the most expensive one, I want that. Awesome. You get that really cool. So the raspberry candy is actually really well 
thanks to Sasha Sestik, um, competing the 2015 World Roaster Championships. World what? Roasting Championships? Barista Championship. Barista, oh really? Yeah, so that's how um, I guess we love really well. Yeah, yeah, nice. Uh, the coffee industry. Oh, beautiful. Uh, back yeah. then it was a blend of a Colombian, um, of a Sudan Mermaid. Yep, yep. But we recreated the flavor experience with a couple of Kenyans and Ethiopians. Yep, yep. Which is why it's probably very fruity. Oh, with beautiful. Um, I'm excited, I'm excited. With one sugar, right? One sugar. Takeaway has to be. Okay. I gotta keep it fair, cause uh, you know, they full yarn, brothers. Their baristas are full publicists. Anyway, I had all these coffees to choose from. I chose the fruity and adventurous. I forgot the name of it. You heard. Rewind it if you want to know the name. And she had a full yarn about how someone took that to the coffee Olympics, and now they're famous because of it. The barista Olympics. And um, I'm excited, brother. I'm excited. Someone give her a promotion. The manager of this place promote her. She's ready to go. Other places I rock with the camera and they freeze up and they uh, uh, and they run away, you know what I mean? She was ready to go, lad. I never thought it would be here though. I guess it's a real factory industrial area and everyone comes, gets feeds. It's next to Anytime Fitness in Maryville. Everyone gets coffees. There's a lot of cafes here. It makes sense, it makes sense. You just wouldn't think Sydney's best coffee uh, would be here, near Sydney Station. I'm giving you one as you ordered yep. and one as our dining experience. All right. So we do have the great cup, um, which best suits the raspberry candy. Yep, drinks. but that's how it's served? Yeah. All right, I have to be fair and I have to keep it consistent. No, I'm drinking it from this. Guys, All right, sweet, they'll, they'll, they'll drink it. All right, thank you, I'll be back. Thank you. Trying to get me to drink it in there from a mug, please. I'm doing takeaways. I'm off around the corner, kicking back Spaniel style. I'm out of what? What? He's off with the offy lad laters. All right, let's go. Let's see what this is about. They've hyped it up. You, you, you can talk the talk, but can you walk the walk? Ooh, it smells odd. Fruity, definitely fruity, but not just fruity. Not like, oh yeah, it's a coffee and it tastes like peach. No, 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 it's in a, it's, there's a weirdness to it. If there was a fruit that smelt like this, you wouldn't eat it. You'd think it'd be poisonous, which isn't ha bad to say in a coffee because it's coffee at the end of the day. It's not bananas. All right, let's go. Well, I'll tell ya, I'll tell ya, that's nice coffee. That's a gun coffee. See how it was fruity and adventurous? But the, the fruity flavor, way, way more dialed back than the Seven Mile. Seven Mile, the fruity flavor was very strong. It was almost like grape flavored coffee. This is more a coffee with a slight fruity undertone. You can taste it. There's something not normal about it. There's nothing else I can complain about. Perfect creaminess, right? The consistency, it's not milky, it's not watery. Definitely no burnt flavors. None of that rubbish, right? It's a good quality coffee. It's a gun coffee. How do I compare that? Where is this gonna rank? Let, let me wrap up here, let me wrap up here. I'm not gonna carry on. It's coffee, brother. Wake up to yourself. I grew up, you know how I grew up? In jail, little individual studies of international roast, pour in a cup, hot water in there. If you want sugar, you get equal because people make alcohol out of sugar. That's it. I grew up on that, brother. So what? Coffee's coffee. Where do I rank this? What's my saying? That's the second best coffee. That's the second best. The best one is Seven Mile in the Northern Beaches. My opinion out of the ones that I tasted was the best coffee. It was the cheapest out of all of them that I've had today. And it was the best one. It was very similar to this, but with a bit more bitter coffee taste. You know you're drinking coffee. And the fruity flavor was more noticeable. This is the second best coffee, $7. Mad coffee, can't complain. The coffee that we had at the single O was the most normal coffee I had in my life. And Starbucks is a joke. Starbucks is a joke, I'm sorry. It was watery, it was burnt, it was nothing. I don't know why people go there. Don't see the difference between Starbucks and 7-Eleven. I promise you I don't, I don't know. But then again, I'm not a coffee connoisseur, am I? I'm old Spanos, and this is Spanian TV doing this all eats, and that's another episode. Let's oge. The winner, seven mile. Cut.